Another world power watching closely events in Afghanistan is China, which is keen to prevent chaos across its own border with the country. Our China media analyst Kerry Allen has been telling us about the coverage today. The events unfolding in Afghanistan are a top story in China today. And it's a very important story to Chinese audiences because Afghanistan borders China and there are a lot of Chinese people in the country. The Chinese embassy in Afghanistan has said that it has not received any reports of Chinese casualties in the country so far. However, a lot of media are sharing a message from the embassy that Chinese nationals should not go out and that they should call the Global Emergency Call Center if they need help. If anybody needs that, it's 0086 101208. Beijing says that it has no plans to remove embassy staff from the country at the moment and the South China Morning Post newspaper says that this signals that the embassy has been in contact with the Taliban. There's also been a statement from China's foreign ministry today. Spokeswoman Hua Chunying told media that China respects the wishes and choices of the Afghan people at this time but that China will continue to monitor the situation. The National Global Times newspaper says that China will particularly prevent the situation there from having a negative impact on Xinjiang. That's the autonomous region in China that borders Afghanistan. In terms of what people are reading and seeing on TV, a lot of media really focuses on how Afghans feel betrayed by the US. So China's Global Times newspaper is sharing footage of protesters outside the White House and many newspapers and news websites are stressing that US President Joe Biden failed to predict this situation a month ago. There are also websites noting that former President Trump is calling on Biden to resign. And that's pretty much the bulk of what I've seen so far. But also there has been a lot of discussion today about China's national broadcaster CCTV. It decided to air the American film A Dog's Way Home today. Now, a dog is a common term of abuse in China, and we've heard Chinese media use it to describe U.S. officials previously. And papers are saying that there's a lot of social media discussion today because people think that CCTV has chosen to show this film deliberately. They're saying that a dog's way home is how China views the U.S. leaving Afghanistan.